last year for Georgia went 4-0 and as a starter and lit up the stat sheet. Looking to throw in the first play. Dumps it off underneath and making the catch is the true freshman. And Schaefer makes it second and eight now. Play action. Daniels flips it short again. Again, second catch for Bowers in the young side end making an impact but wrestled out of bounds. A couple play action passes early. Comes the pressure ball out quickly. Another short completion and a first down catch for 54. Probably the toughest lineman does a good job. Dogs playing with some tempo. And Daniels is not a runner. Yep. They just get the snap off. Third and eight. Got to get protection. Flips it short. Milton's got work to do. And he's not going to get anywhere near the marker. Spectre knocked it down and long. There they're just trying to make him dump this ball. Take everything away downfield and then rally to the football. Good job, good job by Spectre. For their second possession. They pick it to White. Daniels ball slipped out of his hands. He was trying to pump fake it. I think I don't know if he if the ball slipped or he just tried to pull it back. It looked like he was maybe trying to pull it back. Didn't maybe want to let it go. He starts to kind of decel a little bit in the ball. First in completion after a four for four start. Play action up. They fooled the defense and they slip it back here to Lad McConkey. And he's a freshman. They dogs. Cook goes in motion. They swing it to him. A block on the edge, but not good enough. Fighting through that block was Simpson. Prince it made for him because it's one thing to be a five star. It's another thing to deal with that adversity. Well, he got some adversity there coming <laughs> off the edge. College football today. That's that's not real mobile. It makes it obviously easy. That's a good job by Simpson. Benny McIntosh goes in motion out of the backfield. Daniels is looking over the middle and airmail to try to get it again to the tight end. Pass interference. Defense number 25. Good spot from two it is. Yeah, and, and he really didn't even need to do this. And they're playing zone. C25 right there just grabs a hold of it. And the ball, it, I don't think it had a chance because they're going to run the football to set up play action. Behind the six, second and 13, they swing it in the flat to Cook. To get More zone here, too. Seven completions for 30 total yards. On third and seven, Daniels has good protection. And once again, it's that tight end. Brock Bowers is open. He's got three catches. It's a first down at the 35. Yeah, and he's nobody's across from him. Easy release this time for Bowers. And he's dropping a defensive end, but that's an easy pitch and catch. Again, going back to what Todd Monken says, good recognition, free snap read. He knew as soon as he got the football. Ooh, to keep the analogy going here. Yeah. Georgia's run 19 plays, Clemson six so far. Daniels flips it one more time. It's the tight end. Bowers does a good job to slip a tackle. Fights for a couple of yards. Had to step in. And he's showing why they were so excited about him in Athens. There's Skowski made the tackle. Final minute of the first quarter. Daniels. Downfield shot over the head of. And they're able to get behind, right between the, behind Goodrich, in front of the safety. Really a tight throw. Not a real tall receiver. Tries to go up and, and make a play on it. Pretty good throw, but again, you're trying to squeeze that in there. Tigers on third and eight. Back off a bit. End zone throw battle on the edge. Flag comes out. Would be the case, especially in obvious passing situations. I mean, he, he just closes off the route. Goodrich doesn't allow him to, to go. Setting fouls. And Daniels rolls, dumps it short and short of the first down. Catch made is not showing pressure. Only rush three. Daniels underneath. Sliding catch short of the first down. Oh. Watch him look left. Come all the way back to the right. And again, finds got a couple receivers. He finds Burton who settles in right in the middle. Play action on second and short. An easy pitch and catch. Rosemary Stacks safe. All SEC preseason team. And he got out in the flat. No gain. They were all over John Field. I mean, watch the safeties. As soon as they, they're just flying down. They, they're not even thinking of, they're going to leave their corners on islands. Daniels again, quick throw. And catches made by Lad McConkey. I tough to get wide and get outside of Clemson. And that Georgia tempo, they flip it off to the freshman tight end, Bowers. Bounds him now to be a tight end where he's a better athlete. Third and eight, Tigers bring some pressure. Picked up, and it's intercepted. 
Sinks, tight end. He's right here. Tight end works here. He kind of sinks, and then he works to the outside. I think JT Daniels is thinking he's going to stay with this tight end, which should open things up out here. Instead, watch what Spectre does. Works out to the outside, fools JT Daniels, and comes up with a big turnover that the Tigers need. So Clemson will take over at the 33 and to finally find the end zone and tie this football game. Takes his turn at tailback. They fake it to him. Daniels over the middle. Catch made. A little play action. Watched it freeze the linebackers. They bite up. Creates a nice little hole on the backside right behind there. Boom. Nice throw. Now to be third and seven. High snap. Daniels gets the ball out quickly. McIntosh fighting. And it's a first down. That was some tough runners to go out here and, and be slot receiver running backs to be slot receivers. And, and that's where you can see again that the versatility of a guy that can go out there and, and do that. And you've had all actors start getting caught up worrying about run. Take it to White, lob it to the edge, and no chance here comes the flag. Brainer on the on the call this time. Mitchell a freshman. <laughs> Jones just, just completely locked him up and grabbed onto him there. The most effective plays tonight. That's right. I mean, but it moves the ball inside the 10 first and could be devastating for Clemson. Play action. Daniels flips it and was it tipped at the line? It was. COVID and uh, just, just, just really was not able to contribute the way he had hoped and. Went up to 100, 290 pounds. Three receivers to the left on second down. They get it back into the boundary there. And Burton into traffic. Gets down inside the five. Goodrich on the tap. Daniels looking right. Launches into heavy traffic. Broken up there. Dowski was back there as well. He had two different receivers running into the same area. Can't really tell who he's trying to get it to. I don't know if he's trying to get to the, the, the bigger Bowers. Who, who really gets his hands on the ball. He did. He, he somehow, boy, he got up. He did, but, but Smith didn't do him any favors. His teammate kind of yeah. knocked it into it. Playing together, being with each other, and they couldn't do it a year ago. This year they can. Daniels rolls out, finds Bowers again, and the young side end is having a heck of a debut. Sure. Daniels swarmed and sacked. This time it's the pressure, and Murphy's going to work all the way around. Man to man, Brent Venables is playing a lot of zone. This time he brings a twist of his own. And Daniels, nothing doing. Tried to flip it out there on the edge. Difference maker. You mentioned Kyrus Jackson hasn't quite looked himself with the knee brace. Pressure on second down. They flip it short. Smith, Georgia. Throw for 11 on third down. They try to throw it short and blowing up the plate. Gets the start on the left hip of Daniels. Out of modern day high school, the powerhouse in Southern California. Comes out with a play action pass and he's right on target to the tight end. It's a big underdog here tonight, 31 points. Swing pass in the flat to Kenny McIntosh inside the 40 and down with a first down. And Talk about Brock Bowers, number 19. Watch him as a blocker here. We know he's a receiver, but out leading the block, he gets the key block along with Fitzpatrick, 86, the other tight end. And that's what you need. Great blocking on the. The quarterback, JT Daniels. Play action pass, plenty of time and an open receiver. It's Lab. <laughs> Zeb was okay. Plenty of time for Daniels and on target. Really good start for JT Daniels. Very efficient. He's five out of six around him. He's really, really good. Five man rush. It's a screen to the tight end, Brock Bowers, and he's tackled by DeMont. And Daniels on target to Bowers. First down back into Carolina territory. They're really spreading South Carolina's defense out, and JT Daniel is just kind of finding the matchup. Deep shot. And he has a man running wide open. Touchdown to Jermaine Burton. Cam Smith is their best cover corner, and he was beaten badly on this play by Burton because of the quick snap and the tempo. That's both touchdowns, Georgia has scored.
Saw four quarterbacks in the first quarter, two for each team. Here comes a South Carolina blitz. And they get to JT, JJ, and Agbari leading the way. Yeah, good pressure. We talked about this. South Carolina defense has played very well so far. Georgia pretty much had coaching, and they are very close friends. They both said they've come really close in a short period of time. Swing pass to James Cook. Speed up the sideline and he's great block by Brock Bowers, number 19, leading the play. There's the block in the back. Tried to pull off, but right in front of the official. There's Bowers doing his job. One good block, one bad. Flip the field, change the field position, give their offense a shorter field. JT Daniels has time and throws incomplete behind. And a quarterback, he kind of leaves his feet and tries to throw back across his body. Hard to be accurate on that throw. It was good pressure. North Carolina looking like it might bring pressure. Daniels on target, first down. Pierre's Jackson to bring. They think they'll get him back at some point this season. After the play fake, the pass is over the head against lesser competition. Eastern Illinois went 0 for 9. East Carolina, 2 for 16. Daniels on target, juggling catch. A.D. Mitchell out of discipline by the young receiver. Mitchell knows the distance, gets there. Perfect timing throw by J.T. Daniel. Daniels dumps it off for Bowers. Daniels passes. The top five running backs back from last season. They rotate them liberally. McIntosh was into that play. The throw over the head of Justin Robin. Line of showing pressure on this third down and then pulling out. Rushed four, and that didn't work as Daniels on target early. Got here in January to learn the system. Good protection, good read by JT Daniels, and throw. Good job of picking up the rush on that last play by McIntosh, the running back. Daniels checks it down. Juggling catch made, but he'd come back, called it his dream job. Daniels toward the end zone. Another open receiver behind the defense. Deep the play before there was a penalty. This time he gets free. He runs right by the corner, Darius Rush. He can take one shot here and see if he can get a chunk play. They get it to Powers. He's across midfield and wrestled down at the 46. Took the running back. JT Daniels steps into the throw. Wide open receiver. Burt might have been able to get more if that ball had hit him in stride. They play that quick out route. They are in field goal range for Jack Podlesny. He's been a little shaky here at the start of the year. Here is Jackson. Cast has X and O analysis, stories, and special guests. And the pass right through the hands of Bowers, who might have been anticipating some contact. But Cooper's old miss, obviously Eli's old miss, Peyton's Tennessee. And Cooper looks very comfortable in that <laughs> Georgia hat. Good throw by JT Year. Designated by Gatorade coming out of modern day in Southern California. On target again there. Some nice run after the catch by Marcus. They got a lot of people interested in him. I think the, what we heard, they're keeping all options open are the Mannings. Pass into the end zone, broken up nicely by Daryl Ware. Not the most mobile. JT Daniels needs to run this. I mean, that's a hard throw back across his body to a covered guy. Just try to run it and get to the pylon. You probably score. Jalen Johnson went in motion to the left, and there is Cook out of the backfield for his second touchdown of the night. One rushing, and now one receiving. Receiver and tight end going inside. Cook is breaking outside and just too easy. My guess is that Cooper and Ellen will applaud. Itches. Daniels throws it up for grabs and it's intercepted if Jalen Foster is in bound. Late. Probably the worst decision he's made today trying to get to his tight end Fitzpatrick on the sideline. Ball just hung in the air. And Jalen Foster made a great play on the ball. His second interception really played the ball well on that play on the sideline. He arrived and COVID arrived. That you know, there's no spring practice. There's limited summer practice. You can't meet with the players. Very hard to put in a new offense. 
Second and five. JT Daniels on the run. It's dropped by Marcus Rosemead. And reloading. Kenny McIntosh has the first down. And healthy, they said he took the reps this week and really no concerns health wise for the quarterback. He'll throw immediately and quickly to Lade McConkey, the possession receiver. Gets the first down and the yards after the catch. With the explosive play on that first snap. Again, a fake and then a, just a little toss to Brock Bowers, who's been the leading receiver for Georgia. But definitely, it's hard to get into a rhythm. Fake to McIntosh and a little a tunnel screen catch made by Kiris Jackson. Good to see him. And we'll show you those in just a minute after we show you the first down catch by Jackson, who is down inside the 30 yard line. The eight. Well, we talked about Jackson hadn't had a ton of looks. He's coming back from that knee injury, he just centers up right over the football, shows his hands and numbers. For a minute. <laughs> yeah. Another catch made in the open field. Max McConkey tackled. Nice game so faces in this passing game. Throw to the sideline, and the catch can't be made by Justin Robinson. That was before this game. They're already two for two today. Daniels all day throws to the into the side, the 10 to the five to the goal line. Touchdown, Bowers. Going to do it tight end. How about this guy? Well, two different skill sets, no doubt. I mean, Brock Bowers. Already now, we talked to mentioned him as a blocker. Where's Eric Gilbert? Where's Darnell Washington? Don't worry about it. Georgia's got Brock Bowers, two touchdowns already. First half. And Ethan Barr, who was in on that tackle, off the field, helmet issue. Daniels in zone, touchdown, Lad McConkey. It's Lad McConkey, high point this football. Pressure, JT Daniels stands in there. There was no doubt. Watch the quarterback take this shot. He knows he's going to get hit. He stands in there. He follows the ball all the way through. For an interception, you are making it too easy for an opponent that comes in here hot. Fake to Kenny McIntosh. Daniels wants to load up, and he's got another open receiver at midfield. That is Adane Mitchell. It's almost dealer's choice. At first, I think JT Daniels was thinking, I might hit Kyrus Jackson. Instead, he comes to A.D. Mitchell, who has really 20 yards or more for this Georgia offense. The SEC freshman of the week last week. A.D. grabs it again, fumbles the football, but it goes out of bounds. We need J.T. Daniels to win us a football game, and who knows when that day will come, but he's ready to go, that's for sure. Swings it to McIntosh, and then McIntosh is driven well deep into the night to this day. Fourth and three, and that is complete to John Fitzpatrick. Three, then it's been just fine, and now he is back. Second and five, inside screen, McConkey touchdown. Vlad McConkey with his third of the year. From the Missouri Tigers. So what beats all out pressure? Screens. <laughs> you just get plenty of action. You take two for one out here because of the man coverage. And it's a walk-in for Ladd McConkey. Welcome back. But it was like a big-time pressure kick. He's got a good leg. JT Daniels was hit as he throws. That is and right there. I mean, that was very lucky because Martez Manuel, there was a bust. They don't. The safety hits. My ribs still hurt from a hit that Eric Berry gave me about 12 years ago. Look at Edwards out of the backfield. With the blocking on the perimeter from this Georgia team, I mean, these receivers, in this particular case, you have a tight end against a manual who just delivered the hit, ironically enough. So that's a little unfair <laughs> here for the Bulldogs. Ball was thrown behind and intercepted by Carlisle. Daniels threw it behind the intent. Man, and he had a hole too. I mean, it's wide open. I mean, as a quarterback, you just have to hit that. I mean, it's behind the intended wide receiver. It gets tipped up, and it's an easy interception from Carlisle. one of the few big plays. When it comes to Saban assistance of going head-to-head -head against Nick. 
JT Daniels, that ball is batted. Do today, but you think they lose? I do. At Purdue yeah. today. I think it's Hangover City. And really? Purdue is a dangerous team. Coming off the comeback against Michigan, you do not like Sparty today. Here's Lad McConkey. A lot to like with Lad. And I don't think the offensive line's been great today by Georgia's standards. So that's if there's one area where you're going to really look at this performance and kind of value big plays in the passing game. So I think if there's one way that you got to kind of attack them. That's how you do it. It's going to be hard. I'm not going to. You got to hold up in protection too, because that pass rush is. Ohio State, I think, a very dangerous team. It probably has its best football in front of it. Daniel sends that out. And a guy who was a Heisman Trophy candidate at the beginning of the year and is now playing second string and trying to get some quarterbacks that are highly skilled players. Third and eight. Daniels settles in the pocket, uncorks a deep ball, and just out of the reach of Jalen Johnson. Jalen just couldn't quite get there, but stretches out. And, and that's the one thing you're going to see with JT Daniels. He has been able to throw the deep ball. He can get the ball down the field. Jalen Johnson almost with the pick. Ole Miss and what we know now will be Matt Corral's final home game in Oxford as he's Basically indicating going at Oxford. What a year they have had at Ole Miss. Georgia on the move from the 39-yard line. It's Daniels again, sets up the screen. Caught in the flat by Bowers. Bowers puts it in high gear, tiptoes down the sideline and out of Kenny McIntosh, another touch. Bobbled snap. Daniels pounces on it. It'll be a loss on the play. At center snap exchange. The, the late great Homer Smith would lay under to watch the center out in goal Daniels works out of the shotgun wide open that is Bowers who snuck through and found himself all alone for another score open and then this one is just you're going to sneak him out the defense is a rub route he got it from his friend Darnell Washington zero kind of taking the, the guy out of the play and look there's wide open so everybody says why did that happen well Daniels in on second down and 10 from the 40. Five in the pattern for Georgia. Daniels unloads a deep ball down the sideline. Great coverage on the play. A rare third and long for this Georgia offense. Daniels from the pocket. Missiles one complete to the 23. That's Burton on the reception. And Burton will go down. His third grab. Dejon Edwards in a tailback. And he'll wind up catching the... Ball from Daniels out of the backfield. On second down and five. Empty backfield. Pass complete to McIntosh. Little bubble screen. McIntosh lost it. Ball on the ground. Buccaneers say they have it. As it stands, a third down and a yard. Yeah, whenever you walk, work back inside, usually the defensive players, especially if the ball is held there, particular play. Daniels from the it out to McConkey. And McConkey tiptoeing down the sideline inside this Georgia players that have suffered from the flu recently. They had a flu, flu bug, which touched a number of players, as it does teams across the country this time of year. All crowd, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Three in the pattern, make it four in the pattern on third and 11. That ball was right in between two. Into a tight window. You see 17 coming to your screen. Good pass protection there. Almost was able to come up with it, but great job.